Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of 2D and 3D shapes. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 8 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got some shapes here. And uh, this one right here is kind of strange looking, this third one right here. And so what do we know about these shapes? These are two-dimensional shapes. We need to find a statement that is true. All right, so let's name these shapes. I would always highly recommend that. All right, so this is a rectangle. Now, uh, what do we know about a rectangle? We should know that all rectangles are parallelograms. That means they've got um, two sets of parallel sides, and ultimately all parallelograms are quadrilaterals. So that means they're four-sided shapes. Okay, so we we go with a four-sided shape, and then it's a special type of four-sided shape called a parallelogram. Then it's a special type of parallelogram called a rectangle. All right, so this has got two pairs of parallel sides and this one's got four right angles that's what makes that special all right this one is not as special it looks like one two three four five six six sided shape uh, it's a hexagon that's all we know it's a hexagon and we could actually call it a regular hexagon meaning all the sides are the same length all the angles are the same measure okay so it's a regular hexagon. Now this one, it's not one that we're used to looking at, but let's take a look at the number of sides. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is a five-sided shape. This is a pentagon. Now it is not a regular pentagon, okay? A regular pentagon will kind of look like a regular hexagon, except it only have five sides. So it's just a plain old pentagon. And then this is a triangle, but it looks like if we can assume that all three sides are the exact same length, this is a special triangle called an equilateral triangle. That means all three sides are the same length and all angles are the same measure. All right, so now that we've named all of our shapes, let's take a look. All the figures are parallelograms. Well, that is incorrect. I'm going to label this figure one, figure two. Uh, figure 3 and figure 4. I'll circle those in blue. Keep them separate. And yeah, figure 1 is a parallelogram. That's it. So that's not going to work for us. All the figures are polygons. All right, we didn't label any polygons, but you know what? There is a larger, if we're thinking of like a Venn diagram right here, right? There's a larger group of shapes called a polygon. And let's label that real quick. So polygons are flat shapes that have two distinct features. They're closed, right? So you can't do something like this. That is not a polygon. Uh, and it has straight sides. So something that would not be polygon would be like a circle, okay? But what would go inside? Well, rectangles would definitely go inside there. Uh, hexagons would definitely go inside there because they're closed and straight. That pentagon, I can't really draw it, but I'll try. And then definitely my equilateral triangle. They are closed with straight sides. Okay, so that's a one, two, three, four. So I'm looking like that's the answer. Let's check C and D. All the figures have equal side lengths. Actually, Six looks like they've got equal side lengths, or the hexagon, so that's shape two. And then so does shape four, but only two of them do. But my regular hexagon has got six equal sides, and my equilateral triangle has got three equal sides. That works. And then all figures are prisms. None of the figures are prisms. Prisms are 3D shapes, right? So if we're thinking like this, that's a cube, right? Or it might be a rectangular prism, depending on how I drew it. So my answer here is B.